Berbera Seaport is located on the south coast of the Gulf of Aden and on east of Djibouti. Berbera Port has two anchorages. The outer anchorage is 5 to 10 cables from the main lighthouse and it has a good turning circle. There's also an inner anchorage. There's a 650 meter long linear wharf which has five linear berths and one row row berth. There are separate jetties for fuel imports and jetties for fishing. Berbera Port facilities encompass more than 600 meters with terminals for containers, general cargo, office buildings, and other properties. In addition to that, the recent agreement between Somaliland government and DP World on investing in the expansion of Berbera Port will be a catalyst to trade with Somaliland and neighboring landlocked countries such as Ethiopia, South Sudan, and beyond. Fishery Sector There is only one jetty for fishing despite the huge potential that this sector presents. Fishing still remains largely untapped resource despite the Somaliland's location, coastal length, and EEZ area. The Somaliland coast lies north of the equator, between latitude 100 north and latitude 110 north, and between longitudes 43.15 east and longitude 490 east in the Gulf of Aden. It stretches 850 kilometers with an exclusive economic zone, EEZ area of approximately 70,000 square kilometers. Major Fishing Settlements Along the Coast There are major settlements of fishing communities along the coast of Somaliland, starting from the west. They are Lo Ya Ado, Zilia, Lugheya Tokoshi, Il Sheik, Bulahar, Berbera, Karen, His, Maid, Las Kore, Il Ao, Livestock Sector to Somaliland's livelihoods, with over 70% of the population engaged in some way in the industry. Exports of livestock and their products account for 80% of exports in normal years. In addition, it is a key local consumption commodity for household food security. Somaliland has an annual export of 3.1 million sheep, goats, and 257,000 cattle, camels exported to the Gulf states. Agriculture Farming contributes between 8% and 15% of the GDP, mostly occurring in the western regions of the country. The sector is dominated by smallholder farmers who own farmland spreading from 2 to 30 acres in the area. Rain-fed farming accounts for 60% of the total area cultivated, while the area under irrigation constitutes only 40%, supporting countless farm families. During the dry season, irrigated farms make good profits, because they supply vegetable and fruit to various markets at a good profit. A new form of farming taking root in greenhouses, hydroponic and aquaponics. Another important income for many families in the rural areas of Somaliland comes from the collecting of myrrh and frankincense, the resinous gum of Camophora and Boswellia species. Some 500 tons of myrrh and frankincense are exported annually from Somaliland. Myrrh harvesting happens twice a year. In a good year, a tree may yield 300 to 500 grams. Frankincense trees, on the other hand, are abundant in the coastal areas in Somaliland and are only harvested in the summer months of June to August. After grading, the price being determined by the color and purity, it is then packaged and exported from the seaport of Berbera. Tourist Attractions with mile upon mile of untouched golden beaches, coral reefs ripe for divers, ancient artifacts, and a population desperate to impress, Somaliland is a country with plenty to offer tourists and we are actively encouraging visitors. Las Gil Cave Paintings A one-hour drive from Harjiza, you arrive at the isolated Las Gil Cave Paintings, several rock shelters colorfully decorated in ancient painting of cows and herders that date back to anywhere between 9,000 in 3000 BC. Las Gil's rock art is executed in the same distinctive Somali Arabian style as the Dahamblin and Karen Hagen cave paintings that are also situated in Somaliland. Ancient edifices are among others found at Salak, Sheik, Ainabo, Al Barkhandel, Ancient Amud, Heis, Maid, Halen, Quabella, Kambolu, and El Ao. However, many of these old structures have yet to be properly explored, a process that would help shed future light on local history and facilitate their preservation for prosperity. Sakhadin Island These are groups of islands off the northwestern coast of Somaliland. They are situated near the ancient trade city of Salak. They are made of six small islands, all of which are low-lying and have sandy beaches. The largest of these islands are Sadad Adin and Ibad, 
These islands are well known for their splendid coral reefs, similar to those found on the southern coast of Oman. They are home to 32 different species of coral fish, major bird colonies, and thick mangrove forests. There is a rich water world with turtles and an opportunity to swim with dolphins. Sea sports like snorkeling and diving are still in its infancy stage. Dalo Mountains Dalo Mountains are part of the Golis Mountain Ranges, which is a national park located in Sanag, near Aragavo, with an elevation of some 4,000 feet compared to other parts of Somaliland, which have often faced severe deforestation. Diallo is a totally unique place, with its 60 miles long thick forest comprising of over 3,000 different trees, shrubs, and plants, such as Edenium, Damas tree, Green Juniper, Acacia millifera, Hiramat, and Muli flowers, Agave trees, Aloe vera, Buxus forest stand, Mira, and fruits of Dusak, Buxus hillebrandi, among other trees. Biogiri Hot Springs Hidden deep in the mountains of Gakan Libax, near Berbera City, is Biogari Hot Springs. It's a popular medicinal and recreational site for residents and non-residents alike. Wildlife Some of the major animals native to Somaliland including the two-foot-tall Biera antelope, hyenas, garanook, baboons, tortoises, lizards, and warthog. Somaliland is also famous for its birds, some of which are the great Hupo lark, Lesser Hoopoe Lark, Western Reef Egret, Hugling's Bustard, Golden Pippet, and Little Brown Bustard. Seryan Museum, located in the capital, Hargisa. The museum collects objects with anthrographic, historical, prehistoric, and natural historic significance. Its collections include documents of the history of Somaliland from the earliest periods, archaeological artifacts, anthrographic objects, as well as numismatics, hotels, Somaliland presents a collection of unique event venues and sophisticated accommodation and conference facilities that ensure memorable experiences. Mansour Hotel, Damal Hotel, Ambassador Hotel Mamis Hotel, Ray's Hotel in Burama, and Coffee Hotel in Buraro provides our guests with a clean, comfortable experience and a friendly atmosphere, allowing you to stay relaxed and productive. Industries in 2010, Somaliland Beverage Industries made the country's single biggest investment to date, opening a $17 million Coca-Cola production facility to supply the region. The factory expanded into producing ultra-heat-treated milk, as well as flavored milk products. A giant making significant presence in the region is Illy's Enterprises, which is established in Burko, and its products distributed across the Horn of Africa. Another important sector is the furniture making industry, which we have Dario Furniture and City Furniture. Their products include offices and residential furniture. Among the leading construction companies in Somaliland are Dario, Lucky Star, and Najax. They specialize in commercial, residential, and infrastructure development such as roads. Gamura Industries, on the other hand, are the largest manufacturers of quality water storage tanks. They pioneered the manufacturing of fiberglass tanks and have since transitioned to plastic tanks with the capacity of up to 20,000 liters. Insurance Takaful Insurance Company is a groundbreaking insurance company, introducing a new and exciting ethical perspective to the insurance market in Somaliland. It is based and operates on the tenets of Sharia. The rationale between Takaful lies in the need to provide risk management and financial security services that are founded on ethical principles and values. Telecommunication and Banking Service Somaliland boasts a highly competitive telecoms industry, providing high-speed internet, mobile and landline services that are among the cheapest in Africa. A number of local telecommunications firms operate in Somaliland, including Telsom, Somtel, and Somcable. The Central Bank of Somaliland is the official monetary authority. There are three privately owned Sharia-compliant commercial banks, which are Premier Bank, Dahabshil International Bank, and Dara Salam Bank. Mining Sector Somaliland is currently witnessing the birth of its mining sector, starting with the inauguration of its first mine. A barrel ore mine has been established in the Samodi Hills, which was previously confirmed to hold potentially viable minerals by internationally recognized senior geologists. The mining sector in Somaliland has been in state of stagnation for an extended period of time, and extraction of minerals has been limited to artisanal mining and simple procurement activities. Fortunately, now it seems the tide has turned in the favor of the people of Somaliland.